here.
Good evening, everybody. My name is In The Fletch, and I am excited to be able to bring you in to CGL Season 12. I am joined by K-Wing. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. And, uh, you know, it's a new season. It's some new people, some new teams, some new faces. It's my first cast with CGL proper, and I'm really excited to be bringing you guys the action here week one of cgl season 12 pc open division it's our best of the best here in that pc division we've got two teams here we've got steven's homies and we got crazy 88s let's take a quick peek at their rosters right now let's start off with steven's homies you got texas money jr you got three you got Zerks. Uh, you got the the main man himself, Steven and Dayman. So you got the Lucio player, Steven, and you got the homies. And Fletch, tell us about the Crazy 88s. Uh, here we go. We've got Crazy 88s roster. We've got Jutsu and Melophobia on the DPS. Smurfy X on that tank. And then... Holding down the back line is going to be Thunder and Ricky. I mean, I, I'm hoping for a great match today. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, uh, these teams are pretty accomplished, especially uh, Crazy 88. They uh, top six in open division in the last tournament. They placed second in CGL last season. Uh, I mean, I'm excited to see uh, what they're going to bring in here for the new season. Yeah, they're looking to really come out the gate strong, the Crazy 88s. Like you said, second in the last CGL. So they're looking to come out, show themselves to be just as strong as last time because they kept a lot of their team. The only people that they added on was uh, the wonderful and amazing Jutsu and then Jags were not on their starting roster except for Jutsu. Jutsu is on that starting roster, but Jax is not. Coming in for 5k hours on Genji and Chemical Reaction, respectively. They're keeping a lot of this core, so they're looking to keep up with the pack. They're looking to push ahead. Really looking to come out strong and set themselves up as the team to beat this season. Uh, for sure. Uh, now we are going to get a look at our map pool coming into this match. We've got Busan, Midtown, Dorado, Esperanza, and then if map 5 is necessary, we will be headed to Lijong Tower. Uh, so what are your thoughts on, the, on this map pool here? My thoughts on this map pool is that it's really going to... You're not going to see a lot of opportunity for the brawl. There are some maps you can try to push it in. On Busan, there's some sub maps you can really push it, you can push it through. Esperanza is a little neutral, but I think we're going to be seeing a lot from this Winston dive that the meta has somewhat solidified Some, into. Somewhat. <laughs> Some, somewhat is, is quite the word there because the meta really has not solidified into anything. It's, it's kind of solid. It's, it's a little jello. We got a jello meta right now of just like, it, it, there's some solid, but you can definitely, it, it, it can wiggle. There's some wiggles. Yeah, I, I mean, I think the, the Winston is pretty firm, like firmly in first place for me, but I do think, like you said, the Jello, it is absolutely possible to uh, run those, uh, you know, comfort picks if, if absolutely necessary. But we are going to be getting into our first map here on Busan, and we are going to see something... Ooh. Crazy 88's hovering something kind of funny looking, but Steven's homies a little more uh, um, a little more meta uh, reliant there with the, the Tracer Sombra Winston dive with the Ana Brig backline, and I'm curious if Crazy 88 is going to run out on this. Yeah, I think they are. They're looking to run out on this. It's much more of an anti dive composition, especially with that Echo with the 
Ash and with the Diva. It's really focused on shutting down this Winston and not allowing him the control that he might want. So you really have to pay attention for that Winston to come in. Already, right, Texas Money Jr. getting pressure. Yeah, and you can see Zerks just taking control of that drum off by that Mega. Anteed up is Murphy X having to fly over the wall, but gets the mech by Pre, able to clean up on the uh, on the mech there. Now already able to clean up, but crucially, Steven's homies are taking a little bit of time to push through. They'll eventually take point, but the Crazy 88 will be right back. And with that pick on the Tracer, it's almost a guarantee looking like that. Yeah, that was a beautiful jump there from Melophobia onto Pre. Melophobia now hacked up and Texas Money Jr. taking down that Mercy <laughs> first, cleaning up the Echo and that Pocket Echo is no more. See Texas Money Jr. already looking for somebody else to hack and it is going to be Ricky on that Ana. Zerks jumps in to try and clean it up but Murphy X cleans up, blows up that Winston. Texas Money already with the EMP but Jutsu Taking down free with that Viper rifle. Texas Money yeah. clearly wanting this EMP. Maybe? No? Uh, this should be a flip though for Crazy 88s. Yeah, definitely have to flip there because you just lost your tank a bit too early. But Texas Money Jr. has been pretty scary on the Sombra. I knew I recognized the name and I knew I recognized it for a reason. This EMP is going to be very scary, especially with no defensive ultimates on the side of the Crazy 88s. They need to play spread apart, and that's exactly what they're doing. They're playing smart, playing spread out. They're not going to let themselves get caught out, but the dive coming in, vulnerable. The nano boost out on it to Melophobia, and Texas Money Jr. uses the EMP, I think hits both the Mercy and the Echo, but that nano boost just too much. Melophobia kills two. Gets killed in turn, but it's just uh, too much to overcome for Steven's homies. And what an economical fight. Three ults used on the side of the homies and Crazy 88. They only need the nano. They're coming into this fight with four ultimates and the homies only have the rally and the primal rage. They're going to need an insane primal rage or something to go incredibly well if they want to win this. We see the Echo dupe come out from Melophobia. Not going to be able to find much of anything with it. I believe that was on to the Winston there. We saw the, I guess, the, the Mercy Ultimate used there. Bob throwing on to point, cleaning up Stevens. Melophobia uh, using that Focus Beam to kill Zerks. Jutsu killing Texas Money and Damon. And it is, they're making a comp switch here. They're making that comp switch, and I mean, you did see a lot of those ults get used out, so they're not going to have any for the last fight, but Crazy 88s had to use a bunch for that. They only really have the bomb, so this is going to be as close to a clean fight as you can get for these two teams, so you really need to see some smart play from these Echoes and from Texas Money Jr. on the Ash. Zerk's mech is already so, so low. Gets oh. demeched early. Melophobia cleaning up with those stickies. Now Smurfy X with that uh, bomb cleans up their counterpart and the bomb is out. Steven gets the res onto Zerks, tries to squish <laughs> Zerks there with the mech, but that's gonna be crazy 88 coming back there uh, to take the point. Jutsu really cleaned up in that last fight, getting a bunch of final blows. And already we see the power and the coordination that are coming out from the crazy 88s. This is the team that is second place. This is the team that is showing us the level of competition. They're setting the bar right now and they're setting it incredibly high. One thing I'm really loving, again, with Jutsu on this Ash, you might see them switch on to a Cassidy or a Reaper if they really want to go in aggressive. I'm interested in the Reinhardt, because the Reinhardt can usually get out brawled by this Ramatra composition, so you might see Zmurphy, uh, Zmurphy X take a bit more of a passive, uh, a bit more of a passive stance, I say, as he charges right by. Uh, if you're a Reinhardt player, you don't need to be passive. Just force, <laughs> force it your will onto the enemies. 
Jutsu has that beam built up so much already. And this is just a scrum right here. Nobody really... Uh, it might be the window that needs to be popped by Ricky to get this fight actually going, but he's going to see Steven's homies rotating down on to the point already. Smurfiak so, so low, takes down Steven with the Fire Strike, but he gets traded out by the Reaper Zerks with those pummels onto Jutsu, and that is going to be uh, coalescent out by Dayman, by the way, but it's going to be Steven's homies taking it uh, here. Yeah, and I think that they that came off of a very good rotation. That's the thing with the Crazy 88s is comp is that it doesn't have a lot that can do too much on that high ground, so they have to drop down, and then they're forced to take four positions on the point already. Texas Money Jr. is gone. Yeah, Melophobia finding a, a two there early in that fight, and this is just already over. Only the wall being invested by Jutsu. Yeah, that is a great fight. That is economical. That is, I mean, that is like broke college student levels of economical right there. And you're coming into this with four ultimates. Texas Money Jr. trying to find something. This blizzard could be really interesting in the back line. And we see it. They can't get out. Beautiful wall by Melophobia. What is it going to be? Okay, Thunder. She kills Dayman, but it's a one-for-one -one trade here. Murphy X has shattered, drops it, hits three! <laughs> and that is going to be a beautiful cleanup there with the shatter. The shatter. Shatter. The shatter buys Murphy X. It's three, cleans it up. I mean, it was a really great shatter, and it turned the fight around. It really shattered there as now Steven's homies, they have the ult advantage here. They can really push in. They have almost all five of their ults coming up. They're gonna throw up that wall for a bit of a curtain. Pay no attention to the man behind the ice wall. So they got that wall coming in up top. They got the flip. Steven, they just oh, let wow. Steven's homies take the point there and they're gonna take the lead back. Death Blossom out from Texas Money. Not going to be able to find much of anything, but it's gonna be the Moira that gets found Dayman. Drops like a rock Melophobia with a headshot onto Texas Money. Jutsu escaping from that Ramatro with their teleporter. Cleaning up the Lucio. Zerk's popping the Annihilation, but it's just too little, too late. And oh. probably the most worthless way that you could have used it. And they, oh. they used three ultimates there. Four! That was, a, that was a huge, huge investment. I think that was a DPS masterclass coming out from the crazy 88s. Melophobia with a great wall to save Murphy X caught in the blizzard. And Jutsu just juking around the Sarmatra is now the re-engage coming in, but with no ult to support it. Dayman pops that coalescence early, but it's gonna be the blizzard from Melophobia that finds any value. Smurphy X cleaning up the blizzard onto Steven. Jutsu taking down the maze. Murphy X now just holding W walking forward, killing everybody in their path. And this is looking at dire right now for Steven's homies. Two ultimates in the bank for Crazy 88s. Yeah, and this shatter can come in as soon as the wall drops down and with Damien going low, they just need to rush in on the point. No one's gonna even be able to touch. Steven, Steven touched. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I don't know how that happened, no but it's not gonna matter because Texas no one's gonna follow cannot up. Texas cannot get there to keep it going, and Crazy 88s is going to take Busan. At taking Busan in very convincing fashion. Oh, this is not. This is looking scary. If you are a, if you're Steven or one of the homies, because I mean. Hmm. This was a pretty dominant showing from the side of Crazy 88s. And did we expect any less, Fletch? I mean, top six last OD, second place last CGL. I feel like I'm listing Super TF's accomplishments, but you know, this is just how, this is a team that's incredibly accomplished, incredibly long story. So if you're going into a comp like Dive, especially, you're going to see the team with the history, with the experience, 
really come out on top. And I think that's exactly what we saw round one. I do think also speaking of their uh, their dive compositions, Stevens homies, I you know, they, they lost pretty convincingly, but I do want to give them credit where credit's due. On that first round of Busan, they forced Crazy 88s off of their chosen Winston dive to mirror them on the Diva. They did end up losing in the mirror, granted, but, you know, you got to give them a little bit of credit there. You do. You really do. And uh, we do have some substitutions coming from the side of Crazy 88s. We actually cannot have any substitutions come from Steven's homies because they are only, they are only five people. So they have no substitutes. They are sticking with this with their guns until it is over. We've got Jags swapping in and Smurf EX going out. So what what do we think this means here? Uh, it means they want to do something different on uh, our next map, which is Midtown. Uh, um, Midtown is a, is an interesting one. I feel like it's one of the few maps that doesn't have like a super defined identity at any given point in my opinion you know what i mean so i feel like if you want to it is uh it's a little more possible on midtown yeah i think we might potentially see some style clashes here especially with the swap onto jags their most played here is the wrecking ball and his favorite is the Winston, a new addition onto the Crazy 88's squad from Chemical Reaction from last season. So we'll have to see if Jax is going to be bringing out the wrecking ball and knocking down our walls, or if they're just going to be sticking on to the nice, safe Winston. And we'll learn in just a couple of seconds here. It is going to be Jags opting for the Winston, the you know the generally accepted meta here with the the break on a backline tracer sombra, you know, a classic. And then Stevens homies doing kind of the same thing that they did on uh, on point one of Busan with a diva. Yeah, this could be a really fruitful composition for. Steven Somi, uh, for Steven Homies, because uh, you have to, you have to remember that this Diva comp forced the Crazy 88s off of their composition. I'm choosing to ignore currently that Arissa because I know it's not happening and I will not be fooled. But even on this comp on the composition with the Winston. This comp from Steven's homies did incredibly well against it, so we'll have to see if it can do the same coming into this next fight. But it looks like Pre got hacked there, and Melophobia able to uh, help finish it up. And that is a pretty important member of that team already down in the, tra in the Tracer. Jutsu has to get out so low already, and Melophobia taking control of the point early here. Early, early, by the way. But Texas Money Jr. finding Ricky there, but Jutsu gonna trade out that support uh, onto Steven. Jags jumping onto the Ash. And this is looking like a pretty one-sided fight already here for uh, the side of Crazy 88s. Yeah, I mean, they had some back and forth, but this is the difference with the dive composition. Crazy 88s are very coordinated, and Steven's homies have felt a little bit behind, uh, just a little bit off their game. That's that recent test going to start coming in. They, they opt to try and keep fighting before getting that pick. I mean, you're going to see... Zerks jump onto Jutsu, finds that final blow there, but now it's Jags is just pushing Hex into a corner over there by that mini pack. And now Melophobia able to clean up on the Ana there, full spawn out from free, finds Thunder. I, I'm a little bit perplexed as to what is happening right now. This is just the most back and forth thing ever. EMP out. From Jutsu, huh? He's up the mech from Zerks. Zerks falls. Steven flies away. 
sees Pre through that wall. The nano boost out on the Texas money. Jutsu killing the Tracer once again. And this, in theory, should be the point going through a crazy 88. Melophobia having a field day out there. How, how, how far, Chad, are we in uh, to yakety sacks right now? Because I feel like... I feel like this has just become a bit of a crazy one because that was a drawn out fight crazy? and that was a fight that just, I mean, it was a fight that didn't stop and it was a fight that really didn't seem to have a beginning, middle and end as now the homies rolling out. They don't have a lot of ultimates. Crazy 88 seems to be sticking to their guns relatively with that nano Winston. Uh, Winston does engage there, but it's going to be Melophobia that cleans up on that Cassidy. And Jags with the Sniper Monkey dropping Dayman to the dirt. And this point is going to keep going and the light post got in the way of the jump there. <laughs> I wasn't going to point that out, but I'm glad that you pointed that out because I, find, I found that very funny. But now you're getting to see that backline composition switch <laughs> even going on to... Going on to the brig, and they're going to have to wait for this dive. They're going to engage right on to those supports of Steven's homies. Uh, speaking of Steven, he's gone. Uh, Melophobia cleaning up on that dive with Jags. Jags popped the Primal Rage, found Dayman, but doesn't go down themselves. Rally out from Thunder to stay alive. And, I mean... What a good job it was. They're going to cap the point. And they have four minutes going into point C here on Midtown. And Melophobia. Yeah, and they get the Ugh. stick. Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, Melophobia. This, these jaggers are brutal. Get back into spawn. Steven, homies, get in the spawn room. You can't stay out there that long. It's raining bullets. Because, oh, my gosh. That was an incredibly good fight from Crazy 88. They took advantage of some of some disorganization on the side of Steven's homies and just jumped in incredibly well. But Jutsu's looking for this EMP. Finds the EMP. Steven falls first. Oh, the Mega got hacked. Oh. The Mega oh. got hacked and the a a could not pick it up. Winston so low. Jutsu flies into the atmosphere through the ceiling of Grand Central Station, and that Mega is still hacked free. You can't have it. <laughs> that, that was a really high value hack. It, just incredibly high value from Jutsu to keep the, it, uh, keep everyone from the side of, of Steven's homies from getting any healing, from being able to survive. And there's the Nano Winston. What a great bubble. Both Nanos out asleep on to Zerg's. And, I mean, Thunder is still in a little bit of danger there, able to get out with his life. And now it's just a haze battle on the point for the Winston's Jags. Finds the first pick there. He's anti and will fall, but there is still uh, an advantage here. But Texas Money with a beautiful EMP to kill the Brig there. Melody yeah, but it's takes still not over. Man. It's still not over. It's going to eventually get cleaned up. I mean, with those closest spawns, he couldn't have won that without a very clean fight, but we finally regained some map control. Oh, Texas Money Jr. nearly getting slept I think Texas terrifying. Money tried to hack the mini, and oh my goodness, Jax hacked there. Oh, we're able to escape with his life though. That is so much charge for the nano boost there. <laughs> shenanigans going on oh, what, map. Sh what shenanigans i think the biggest difference we saw between the winst is is when both of them jumped in with that nano we saw that jags got slept zerks did not by the way that's just a beautiful emp from jutes too oh that that's what you want to see with emp is hitting both of those supports and now it is just zerks left i mean this is looking pretty dangerous now for steven's homies Sombra's out. They're going to capture the point with a minute and 20 seconds left. By the way, I don't think that uh, that Jutsu meant to hack that Mega. I think it just got hacked by EMP. Um, Crazy. But a beautiful, beautiful game 
just beautiful gameplay there from the entirety of Crazy 88 after that fight that happened on the first point, if that's what you want to call it. But they're going to capture, and that's not an easy point to capture with time, let alone. No, it's a very hard point to capture, especially with more than a minute. Steven's homies have to take all three points with time or be faced with a forced draw or a loss. And I think what I was trying to bring up before that I didn't really get out as well is that we've seen incredible coordination from Crazy 88s. We've seen them play as a team incredibly well. But I think another thing that maybe we didn't discuss as much or we didn't discuss as much as we should have is that the individual players on Cra Crazy 88s are also incredibly well cracked. I mean, you saw when Jags and Zerks jumped in with the Nano, Zerks tried to drop the bubble to avoid the sleep from Ricky, but failed. And Jags dropped the bubble and drew out the sleep from Dayman and was able to get so much value and just pressure out the supports, draw out resource upon resource. And that is the difference, is that Crazy 88 are an incredibly good team, but individually, they're insane as well. And we'll see if Steven's homies can match that level of incredible individual and team play in this round. Now we see though, <clears throat> Jutsu opting to not play the Sombra here on the defense. Zerx jumps in, okay, not by himself. We see Texas money there, but it's not gonna really mean anything. Able to get out with their life there, but it's gonna be, I, I just need to keep talking crap about people because Zerx finds the first pick onto Melophobia. Jutsu trades it out for Steven. Gonna see the hack going out onto Jags. Bubble throwing it down. He's able to get away with his life. Thunder with a nice break on the hack there. And Jutsu finds the burn onto Texas Money there. That was such a good follow up from Jags though, jumping in onto Texas Money, who they knew was burning up. And there's the follow up, the crazy 88s. Just, that was, su that was such a moment of coordination. You could hear. You could basically hear Jutsu screaming, going like, Summer burning, summer burning. And there, there was the follow up. That is what you see. And it's what you love to see from this team working incredibly well together. And they're charging up a massive load of ultimates for it. Yeah, we see Jags doing a little bit of surfing on the train there to get a little bit more damage in on those supports in the back line. Nano boost out on the Zergs. Asleep on to Jags. Not able to clean it up before the hack uh, lockout goes away. Able to pop the final rage to stay alive. Texas money very, very low. Melophobia cleans it up on that translocator. And I mean, Steven's homie's just gonna have to back out once again. And the crazy 88s use only two alts. And they clean up incredibly well. Texas Money Jr.'s EMP is a crucial ultimate that's coming up in this next fight. I will put it out here that if the EMP gets used in this next fight and they can't win it, Steven's homies might have the danger of not only not winning this map, but not even getting more than a tick. Yeah, I, I mean, you're 100% right, but there's a beautiful pick. The EMP comes out, but the EMP wasn't what got the pick. Thunder falls first, but Jutsu, as soon as the EMP goes out, kills Texas Money Jr. And Jutsu, I mean, with the Bob, finds, you know, two incredible picks, and Jutsu with three. It's... <laughs> <laughs> what a shot there. Just, that was just like, that was a, a little uppercut as I was trying to start my segment, but really incredible from Ricky throwing the nano onto Jags to keep them alive for a lot longer. But Steven's homies, I really don't know. I wish they would, they need to push in now. They've got the pick and Winston's out of position. They need to push in right now. Winston just coming back out of spawn. They need to push in now. They can't lose Texas money. Well, they, uh, they will. <laughs> Jags on Texas money. And the sleep dart out from Dayman, not gonna be able to find onto Jags. Able to stay alive is Dayman with the help of Steven. We see the rally 
get popped by Thunder for that stability and Melophobia taking down Steven. Let's see, can his homies do anything without him? Jags, pummels, Dayman, Nano Boost out. Pulse Bomb stuck onto Zerks. That Nano's not enough. Takes down the Winston, Texas money. Squish like a bug and Jutsu with another beautiful headshot on Capri to take map two. I cannot applaud Jags on this Winston enough. Playing incredibly well on the aggressive on the aggression, but even when they're about to confirm this kill, even when it seems like all like they're just about to get that kill, and this is the headshot there. Oh, beautiful. That was that was a great reaction. But just when it seems like they're about to confirm the kill, they get called back and they jump away. Even though they're st they still have a good amount of HP, they still have a good amount of ability to potentially get some more damage in. They jump away, they peel for their supports, and that's a great team. And I don't know if Steven's homies can match it because we're going into the last map after this quick break. Do we think they can do it? I think, I, I'm gonna be honest, they haven't shown me much of an ability to fight back <clears throat> just yet. But like you said, we are going to be heading to a break with a potentially last map uh, match point situation here for Crazy 88s to take the first streamed match of the season here. Uh, stick around, you won't want to miss it.
All right, welcome back everybody to our first match of CGL Season 12. We have a, a pretty one-sided match thus far between Crazy 8s and Steven's homies. Uh, Crazy 8s currently up 2-0 on a match point. Um, what are you thinking right now, K-Wing? I mean, I'm thinking that Steven has to be given the homies one of the best halftime pep talk speeches in recorded sports history right now. If they want even a chance to come back here, one thing we were talking about before this was Busan and that point that we saw Crazy 88s seem, even for just the briefest moment, a bit mortal and that was when they had to switch off of that winston composition and one thing we were talking about that makes this seem even tougher for our steven's homies is that we realized that smurphy x is the crazy 88's reinhardt player so the plan probably was we were thinking is to play reinhardt on busan and on mecha base and for shrine you know, Smurfy X could probably play the Winston or the Diva, but not really the maps they wanted to have him on. So the fact that Crazy 88 still did as well as they did playing their Reinhardt player on the Winston and then onto the Diva is just a really great showing of how good this team is. Because I mean, we saw how incredible their Winston player Jags is. I mean, <clears throat> it, you wouldn't think that they were like, yeah, we're gonna put in our Reinhardt player and have him play Winston, because that'll be funny. That's a choice of, you know, we want Reinhardt on two of the three sub maps, the other one, whatever. And uh, yeah, uh, that's that's exactly what my thoughts were. I mean, we I, like you said, we did talk about that a little bit. But speaking of the Winston, our third map on a match point here is going to be Dorado. <sighs> I mean, that's that's all Winston all day. I feel like I just I just don't know. I don't think that there's a better choice than Winston on this map maybe except for on point C where you can play a little bit more rushy but the the high ground dominance that you need to have to win this uh, map on the first and second points is, is it's so oppressive I mean I mean yeah I, you can take rush in even third point you can take rush in you might not get much out of it, but you can sure take Rush in with how scary it can be on your on, on that first uh, choke and onto that high ground. That's a tough hold to break. So now this is the last chance for Steven's homies. Crazy 88's looking to show their dominance as they have been so far, and they look to be changing up pretty much nothing yeah <clears throat> steven's homies uh opting for the pocketed echo strategy here with the kiriko i mean maybe for those anti-grenades which are very very powerful <laughs> to be to be fair uh <clears throat> i just i don't know how much i like this composition over the one that crazy 88 is opting for Yeah, and as we get into that la into this what could be the last map, Steven's homies need a good attack. They need something to break here, and they need something amazing to come out of Zerks and out of Free. Those are my two players I watch on Steven's homies. This Echo and this Winston need to really get the best of their counterparts on the Ash and the Winston, respectively, if they want to get through as we start into this poke phase and we start into the dives. Yeah, uh, we see <clears throat> Jags just trying to take control of the high ground. Has to get healed up by Steven and Jags very, very low. Has to jump all the way 
back to Ricky and Thunder, but it's gonna be Melophobia in that Tracer duel that takes the first kill. Jags cleaning up on Jutsu's damage onto Steven, and that's already two kills for the side of Crazy88. Yeah, and this is the thing is that Steven's homies just are really gonna struggle with putting together a dive. The Echo Mercy is pretty good at dishing out the damage, but it means that the Kiriko is going to have to heal your main tank and well it's gonna have to just heal your main tank and melophobia and they're just gonna have to try and keep up they're going to have to try and push onto this high ground and they're going to struggle yeah texas money jr though with the help of a little bit of a steven damage boost there takes down melophobia free very very low is jet jack's not good you're not gonna be able to get that buddy i'm sorry you're a little bit too short for this right Oh, big. that would. And, I mean, Jutsu with the cleanup headshot on to Dayman, who does get res, but Melophobia going for that uh, that echo there with the pulse bomb and takes it, uh, takes it down. Yeah, that was a. That was an. An aspirational uh, attack there, as already the Kitsune Rush rolling out. Steven's homies using a lot of their ult to try and dish out the damage here. Uh, so Zerx jumps in with the help of that kit rush. Jutsu throwing out the bob, but it's going to be Texas Money with the help of that Kitsune rush taking down Melophobia. The bob doing so much damage. Jutsu cleaning up to make it three kills for Jutsu here. And interrupt. Wow. Interrupted the jump there with the, um, with the coach gun. That was... I didn't know that that could work like that. That was amazing. And this has been, Juice has been a pretty well unsung hero of the Crazy 88 so far. Dishing out multi-kill upon multi-kill. Their Ash has been terrifying. And they're just really, there's nothing that seems like it can stop them. The dive gonna come in and, wow. A good sleep on to the, to the other Winston. But it's not going to mean much of anything. Texas Money comes back into the fight, but Jutsu and Jag taking out both supports in turn. Now Xerx has the Primal Rage, but will not use it smartly. Uh, but only 30 seconds left on the clock. Steven's homies are just looking out class right now. Yeah, and they're running into four ults on the side of Crazy 88. Everything except for the Bob, and they're just going to jump right in. Yeah, Nano Boost, Pulse Bomb out, Primal Blade on Dupree, takes down the Echo, takes down the Ana, takes, doesn't take down the Kiriko, Ricky takes down the Kiriko, and that is going to be Jags cleaning up three there, it's just Xerx gets stunned by the Rally, is on fire, is low, and now three taking up that role of contesting the cart for just a little bit longer, but it's not going to be enough as Steven and Pre fall, and I mean, that's not a whole lot of work left to do for Crazy 88s here. And, uh... <laughs> Crazy 88s have just... This is a team that we knew was going to come out and look to be dominant. I don't think either of us, Fletch, thought that it was going to be this dominant crazy 88s coming out and showing us not only are they a team to watch but they are a team to fear right now as we get ready to go into what is most likely the last round steven's homies have to be feeling defeated right now crazy 88s I don't think they're going to roll out on the Wrecking Ball Junkrat Bastion Life of Your Kiriko comp. I they want sure it, could. I want it, I, though. <laughs> do it. I'd be, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want it. Do it. You you won't. No Wrecking Ball. I'll take I'll take the, the, the Torb, too. Uh, it doesn't matter. Ooh. Bastion, Torb, I don't care. I just want one of them. It, if only it was, it was uh, two days from now and they had access to the new support, we could just have a completely insane composition. 
I don't think that in CGL, I'm pretty sure the rules are going to be that uh, Il Ilari is going to be locked up for at least a couple of weeks. But uh, um, we see Melophobia. No way. Melophobia dropping down onto Texas Money and Free up there, but Zerks <laughs> <laughs> taking them down. Uh, uh, Ricky falls too. Free very, very low due to cleaning it up in the Tracer duel. And the slam from Jags. Finds a little bit of damage. Uh, Ricky, who are you intending to heal here on the Baptiste? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I, I can hear March of the Gladiators playing right now. I can just hear that. It's uh, it's starting to be a bit of a clown fiesta right now uh, for the folks at home. This is uh, not usually the meta that you see coming into a normal game of Overwatch, but uh, Texas um, Money Jr. goes down. I so, think uh, that might be the map, honestly. That, that might be. <laughs> um, Jags just, oh my goodness, Jags just Don't doing so winds, much it. damage. Oh, <laughs> those little pea shooters from the Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Jutsu has this pulse bomb coming up here. Has it built up? Ooh, Thunder, she's in the back line. She doesn't care. <laughs> Thunder Pre is in. Pre on Thunder there. Wrecking Ball drops the minefields from Jag. Um, this is a little bit goofy. Uh, Dayman falls. Jutsu cleans up the Kitty there. Oh, 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 you saw Melophobia just waiting for the Sombra to come through that mini there. And, um... Window out from Ricky. That's gonna be nah. You're you're a little bit too That'd late. Free. Um, yeah, a bit of an underwhelming finish there, but that is going to be crazy. 88. Uh, you're defending co-champion. Um, yeah, uh, they're gonna take this series very very easily. They are gonna take this series incredibly easily. Sorry, and vice champion. With yeah, that vice champion there, second place, and showing why. No other word for it than showing why. Coming in and saying that the new teams, these young whippersnappers, these homies, aren't going to take them out at all. And I mean, that was a shutout. That was a shutout. Not only, not only in it was a 3-0, Steven's homies didn't score a point. I mean, if that doesn't tell you how an, how absolutely terrifying, absolutely terrifying the crazy 88s are, because Steven's homies are not a slouch of a team. I know Texas Money Jr. They're an incredible, incredible player. And it just seemed like crazy 88s were a step ahead the entire way. I mean... Jags, I I have very, very little words for the, the match that we just watched. I mean, Crazy 88s came in, took what was theirs. This match was theirs, obviously. Um, Jags looked so dominant on the Winston at almost all times. And then we saw Jutsu. I mean, like you said, a bit unsung early on in the series. But Jutsu's Sombra was, like, honestly, Chef Kiss perfect for the time that he did play it. And then when he played the Ash, he controlled those sidelines, the high, the high ground. I mean, I reacted to some beautiful shots by him, uh, you know, killing tracers. Just Jutsu, I think, is probably my player of the match. We don't really have official players of the match but he's probably the guy that i would uh give that honor to for this match he, he's the player of the match in my heart i i've got to give it to Jax as well i mean he like you said we don't really do uh official players of the match but you know what jags you're my player of the match you're our player of the match okay comrade um <laughs> this is that's going to be it for us. A quick 3-0, a quick sweep. And uh, 
if you really enjoyed this, there's so much more Overwatch that's going to be happening from Console Gaming League, from Gold to EU, Console, PC, NA, EU. There's so much to see, so much to do. So we'll have to see you on the flip side in the Fletch. And I are going to head off into the sunset. And I, I, I don't even know what this metaphor has become. But we're going to head off. And uh, Fletch, anything you want to say besides thanking our wonderful producer and our wonderful observers? Yeah, I mean, it was a, a great honor to be able to bring this season in here tonight. And I'm looking forward to what is to come here. But that is going to be it for us. So tune in next time. And uh, we'll see y'all when I guess we see you.